Tonight, new surveillance video capturing a teen moments after breaking out of a mid-state juvenile detention center. The search is on tonight for 16-year-old Ty Harrell. Police say he also stole a truck from a business down the road and then took off. News Force Cameron Taylor has been following this story all day for us in Rutherford County. Cameron, police think he might be in Clarksville. And that's because that's where he's from, Tom and Tracy. So police from here to there are trying to catch him. And the big question still out there tonight, how he got away from this facility in the first place. Surveillance video capturing a guy in a black and white jumpsuit running in between a green van and RV. At one point, he looks like he's hiding behind the van. If you would have seen this gentleman running down the road, you would have definitely looked at him. Minutes later, Rutherford County deputies pulled up to Jim Kirby Automotive. They told the owner about 16-year-old Ty Harrell escaping from the juvenile detention center. So we kind of jumped in our razor and we went back in the woods looking around trying to help them out. And lo and behold, we got a call from here that uh, he had stolen a truck next door. So he was a one step ahead of us. The owner of this brand new Toyota Tundra says this is Harrell walking toward his truck. He climbs in the passenger seat and drives off. So now we've got a guy in my truck with the key in the center console and my pistol driving to Lord knows where. A crazy day for Rhett Parker, who was celebrating his 33rd birthday. He shut down his business, Parker Brothers Window Tinting, early for the day. I didn't think it was real until I had about 25 cop cars in my parking lot. And then it all kind of came to uh, reality. It's like, uh oh, that. This is not a joke anymore. This is real. Harold was being held here for Clarksville police. His name may sound familiar because police say he's been involved in a number of crimes. And I don't care about the vehicle. I just care about the safety of the officers that that make the stop on this on this gentleman. Now you saw the kind of jumpsuit Harold was last seen wearing. Police saying he also hurt his foot. Now they also tell us that he has some pretty distinct tattoos that we want to show you right now. One has the numbers 410 and the other is a tattoo of Bart Simpson. Bottom line here, if you see this guy, just stay away from him. Call police. Tom Tracy. Good advice, Cameron. Thanks. We first told you about Harold two weeks ago when he was involved in a police chase in Clarksville. He was able to get away from officers and was on the run for several days. He was finally arrested after an hours long standoff with officers. He was first booked into jail in Montgomery County, then transferred to Murfreesboro.